When extracting oil, you almost always have associated gas in the reservoir. CO2 is considered as a contaminant. Legislation prevents you from venting to the atmosphere. How can we re-inject it into the reservoir? Let's get some direct drive motor compressors to compress the natural gas and a number of high pressure CO2 pumps. The investment cost is millions of dollars and hundreds of square meters just for a few pumps. Space is always limited on an FPSO. Maybe we could do this differently. Let's re-inject the CO2 with a single compressor. We no longer need the pumps. We change the direct drive compressors and use variable speed motors to cope with the varying gas compression and reservoir characteristics. We will have to factor in considerable costs for weight and space of the additional electrical equipment. Where can we put the special transformers and control cabinets? They're large and heavy. This additional equipment in our drivetrain will reduce the availability of our gas compression system. We're hundreds of miles offshore. Maintenance and operating costs will go through the roof. You know what? I don't think this one is going to work. If we had a compact and simple variable speed solution for gas compression, life would be so much easier. Imagine if we kept the fixed speed motor, swapped the gearbox for a variable speed gear just small enough to fit the same space. This could just be right for an FPSO. We keep the simplicity of a direct drive and gain maximum flexibility with variable speed process control. You know, that would be great. Just imagine the hundreds of extra hours you gain on process availability. Maybe one day. Maybe today. Voracon, the variable speed gear with unparalleled simplicity and reliability. For you, engineered reliability.